So it's 10.49 p.m. on uh, Tuesday, October 5th, 2021, and I just finished watching Squid Game. Everybody's watching on Netflix. Personally, I really loved Midnight Mass. Squid Game... I totally get why everybody loves it. I didn't hate it. I, I, I thought it was really good. Um, the ending had me a bit frustrated because I'm like... Yeah, the ending though. But, I mean, perhaps they'll have another season because of, of it. I mean, I don't know. Um... I have I liked seeing the um the guy who slaps the face. <laughs> I like seeing him again. He's pretty um pretty attractive. Um, you know I really didn't want to make a vlog today. I I just I I talked the other day, um, I'm in like a terrible headspace right now, lately. I'm, I'm, it's like I'm trying to claw my way through this feeling. But I'm trying not to, like I'm trying to... How do I explain it? Like, uh, I, I wrote in my paper journal, but it was like, crap. I mean, it wasn't, I was trying to record while I did it, hyperlapse. So it's like not even really me writing, as in like it's not, I'm not putting my full attention to it. I, um, I had wanted to be reading because I honestly have this thought in my head that probably losing myself in some books, and I've got many books I've started, so I, I could pick any one of them. Just like read, read as a pastime. Read all the books, read all the books, read every single book that I can. Just lose myself in the stories. Pick up the various poetry collections. Just read, but I'm not. I didn't read. I freaking raced today and it was frustrating. I, yeah. And then I, and then I watched Squid Game, like the rest of Squid Game. 
I'm probably going to watch 30 Days of Night after this. No, in a few minutes, my alarm's going to go off for typing my 750 words, which if I don't do it, if I don't continue the streak, it'll break the streak. And then I'm back to not even bothering why I even bother doing it. And I really don't want to do that, but I'm feeling like that. I'm feeling like not not even bothering doing doing it to make this vlog. I didn't even want to. There's just been a, a stress. It's nothing. Nothing I can do to ease it. I can't ease the stress. I can't uh, change things right now. I can only just try to form habits of routine, like writing and perhaps readjust to reading at a certain time. The day started off weird anyway. I had I had these vivid like I have vivid nightmares every every day, but I dreamed specifically about like somebody from childhood that um was connected to somebody else that I knew in in my like just on the border of being a teen years and um just so vivid so real <laughs> absurd dreaming there's an invite to race absurd dreaming it was very absurd like the dream was horrific and absurd and made it I could have typed it out written it out before I was fully awake which is something I should probably return to doing be creative you know but that that took a bit to shake off and then from there it just seemed like the day was good things that happened um yeah I don't Look, I'm not ungrateful. It's just the stress of some struggles, the struggles that that are going on. It's a lot, and I, I kind of, I mean, I've never had a time period in my life where I've thought, oh, it'd be great if I smoked. You know, like, I don't, it's been the weirdest thing for this year, has been the, not this year, probably several months now, where I've actually thought of smoking, even though I wouldn't smoke. I don't have any vices like that. Coffee's my vice. And that's bad for anxiety, and I know. But I'm like, it's the only thing I do. Like, let me have this thing. But... Yeah, I feel like I'm no fun. And I miss me being fun and having fun. And no, I didn't smoke or anything for that. I just mean I miss laughing with people and having a good time. And I, I guess I thought that there'd be more opportunities to have fun and a good time even as the years pass but because of what what's going on right now it's 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 like things are on hold it's like a, I've lived my life with a lot of things on hold for a long time off and on but then it's like the 
there are things happening that are making my life be on hold. And I, I can't change those things. And I don't know. I don't make a lot of sense. It's just basically I'm frustrated because I don't want to make any big actions that could make things even more fragile and so I'm gonna keep trying to do these daily habit things it's only the fifth day of October and I'm like I'm so done my alarm's gonna go off really loudly in like a minute But I'm going to write my words, I'm going to ramble, I'm going to put this vlog up and hope that that I start doing more of what I, what I can to feel a little better in a good way, you know, I don't, I don't know. Don't squander the days. Yeah. It's 11.42 p.m. and I got my words done. Uh, I don't know, 900 and something. It's mostly <laughs> talking about how I don't wanna write. I'm just too tired about doing anything. But I did it, I got the words done. And this is just about building the habit, the routine of um, writing every day, right? I mean, I've done it every day so far, so. And then um, I'll probably make the old entries. Uh, I'll make the, I'll private the entries when I hit seven days. I'm just fucking tired. So now, I'll upload this clip and then I'll make the vlog, which is, I know, boring. I'll try to get out soon. Tomorrow, a, um, tomorrow there's supposed to be a, uh, the mirror finally is going to come in. The, um, the, uh, bathroom mirror that's needed replacing for a few months now. Finally, they have them in, so what's supposed to happen tomorrow? And then... It's tomorrow is the 6th, which the 6th of October is usually a very significant day for me. Because it's when my twin was buried. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be like. I just have such a freaking headache. I, I'm d trying to do the things, but I really do feel like I'm just dragging myself along. And I know this is just how it can be. Maybe I need to face that uh, I am dealing with depression again. Probably. Probably. I'll keep an eye on it. I mean, it could just be the overwhelming anxiety that I have. Um, I mean, there's nothing I can really do about the depression except the things that you're supposed to do, like exercise and diet. Can't do anything about the diet because we don't have the fruit and vegetables that I crave. I don't know. I'll see what I can do when I do the freaking budget, which is something I wrote about, the stress of budgeting. I don't know what we can get. The things I would like to have. Gosh, I mean, who would have thought I'd be like just thinking about fruit and vegetables? How much I would like fruit and vegetables. Just lots of fruit and lots of vegetables. That's all I think about. I know that sounds like it's weird or that it's not what I would think about, but it is. It's what I'm thinking about all the time.
We've been living on pasta and ramen. And I don't want to be ungrateful because the ramen is good. Who would have thought I'd end up liking ramen? And it's a good kind. Like, it's... How do I say? Authentic, right? It's good stuff. Throw in frozen veggies. But I'm so tired of it. And <laughs> certainly not what I crave. Um, yeah, but you know, we're just trying to get through. So, I'm gonna upload this. It'll take hours to put it together, like for it to process and upload probably late morning. I'll probably end up going to bed while it's, I haven't even made it yet. So yeah, 11.46 p.m. On the 5th of October, you know, I was like, maybe I could turn on the light and show you some of the books I have in process, like, that I, that I was just sort of, yeah, I could try to do that. This, everything's a mess, so just keep that in mind, because I want more bookshelves. The books I was reading in process... Um, I'm thinking about ending things, which was a Netflix show. I got this after seeing the Netflix. This is another one that I had started to read that I really want to dive into. The Penguin Book of the Prose Poem. I would love to read this one. I Used to Be Charming by Eve Babbitts. I read one of her books earlier. This is one that I need to study read. And I, I, I think I saw on Twitter that there's going to be another book. But Care Work, Dreaming, Dis uh, Dreaming of Disability Justice. Um, really good book that I got from the college. That was one I have started that I was in. The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma. I'm not reading that one, but I did start You're the Monkey by P Patty Smith. That one. So this one's ongoing, this one's ongoing, this one's ongoing, this one's ongoing.